We are working with uh, Corn Massa. Yes. And joining me now is uh, Mariana Toro Torio. Yes. Co-owner here at uh, Corazon de Maze. Good morning. Good morning, Sarah. How are you? I'm I'm great. It's very exciting for me to be on this side of the counter. Normally, normally I am on the other side and, uh, and I'm ordering from you. Yes. So it's very unique for me to be on this side. Now, I think one of the most unique things about the restaurant is that you and Eric do everything. Mm -hmm. How do you work so much? <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's because we love to cook and um, that's basically what pushes us to be here every day cooking, cooking, mm. cooking. Where did you learn how to cook? Well, my mama taught me most of the stuff that I know, and I also went to cooking school back home. Mm -hmm. So I did for two and a half years, and then I've been cooking like for 10 years now. Mm -hmm. and, so, and you spent some di uh, time in different regions where people are very passionate about certain, certain uh, methods of cooking, including the use of masa. Masa. So what yes. exactly is masa? Masa, it's basically just corn, mm -hmm. lime, and salt, and that's it. And you, you can make a lot of different things yeah, with it. Yeah, a lot of different things. You can make sopes, gorditas, tlacoyos, tlayudas. Uh, it's part of our basic uh, food. Um, like the oldest stuff we eat is basil masa. So it's like a we, staple yes, in Mexican exactly. cuisine. Okay, yes. so we're making tortillas, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we have been rolling the masa into balls. Yeah, this masa is already set. We just okay. added water. Use one of the set ones? Yes. Okay. So then uh, show me how it's done and then I'll try and copy you. So we use like a plastic bag. And why do you need the plastic bag? To prevent the masa uh, from sticking to the press. Okay. That's basically. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna press it, not very hard. What happens if you just slam it down? Well, it, probably it'll go out through the edges <laughs> and it won't look nice. Okay. Yes. This one is not quite ready. And then? Again. You continually to spin, uh, spin yeah. it around so it evens out, eh? Exactly. Okay. So I guess this one is a little bit thick. I'm going to do it one more time. But so it's called something different than a tortilla if it ends up being thick, right? Yes. Because we've got a couple of them on, on the grill. So this is what happens after you put it through the press, you put it on the grill. Yeah, exactly. And it comes off kind of crunchy almost. Yeah, exactly. So here we're making a tostada. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to just Flip it, flip it, flip it until it becomes crispy, but not burned. Okay. And what's this one with the ridges? This is called a sope, which is like a thick tortilla. And then while it's cooking, we just uh, pinch it like on the edges. Okay. And now you mentioned that once you have pressed the tortilla, yes. you put it onto the grill and you wait for what to happen? Oh, well, that's a, there's a belief back home that if it inflates, it, it means that you're going to get married pretty soon. Okay. So, yeah. We'll see if this one inflates. I think we both know that tortilla is not inflating. <laughs> All right. So let's head back and work with, what was this one called again? Sope. Sope. Sope, yes. Okay. So now, traditionally, how yes. would you build the sope? Okay. We're going to put some tender cactus salad. Right, which, which is, is what I was eating earlier exactly. in the show. Exactly. Uh, lowers your cholesterol and high in fiber. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's very healthy for you. So, you can do it, Sarah. We're going to put a little bit of Nopales, that's the word in Spanish. Okay. <clears throat> and then we're going to put some crema. Sour cream. Yes. And what kind of cheese? That's a feta cheese, which is similar to queso fresco. That's why we use it. Looking good. There's my first Mexican treat of the day. Well, and we will spend the entire morning here at Corazon de Maze making a number of my favorites. And then, as promised, we have to bring some over to the station. Of are, course. Are you okay with that? I'll let you do the, the burrito making the building, because yes. you're the expert. 